Hello and welcome to the 15th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at the repeat action. We'll be using the source code from the 7th part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with loads of useful functionality to manipulate nodes. Most things in Cocos 2D JS are nodes such as sprites and menu items that you'll be using. We will look at repeating actions using the repeat method. We'll repeat one of the actions that we've already covered throughout this series. So let's just go ahead and open up our project or open up our app.js I should say. Maximize this. So we're going to create an action. So var sprite underscore action equals cc dot repeat dot create and in here we specify what action we want to repeat. So I'm going to put cc dot move by hence on creating a new action within the repeat action dot create 0 0.5 cc dot p dot 50 by 60 and get it over here and now we specify how many times we want to repeat this action. I'm going to put 5 we can't repeat different actions, as in you can't like sequence them together. There's actually a separate action for that, which is called sequence, which we'll be covering uh, very soon in this series. So what we need to do is just run this action. So sprite dot run action sprite action. Minimize this. Open up terminal cd. Change directory to our project. Cocos run dash p web no web web someone says if we're asking for the web how to run okay as you can see it is moving but it did it constantly for quite a while it did it five times basically um, so yeah that's how you repeat an action what you can also do is just specify a variable here instead of inline declaring the action so you could have this action on a separate line so you could have var move action equals cc dot move by dot create then you, you create it with the parameters that you need or any other action and then you repeat it you could even repeat a repeat action or whatever so low thing to note you can't reuse action for different nodes you even need to create a new one or release the old one and construct it again recommending you just create a new action for the different nodes no task for you to do. Use a repeat action, repeat some previous action, and see the difference between the to and by actions, such as move to and move by. The next tutorial will cover repetition of actions using the repeat forever method, which is pretty self explanatory. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonosystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day and well a great weekend.